Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. We are really glad that you could join today and be, be part of this study. Um, today we are going to be looking at uh, some of the prayers that were prayed in the Bible. So the intention for us is to see the kinds of prayers, what were the things that were prayed, what was the list that was actually mentioned and, uh, and see if we can learn from that and pray this over our own lives and in the lives of maybe our family members and friends and, and those around us. Uh, we have an awesome privilege of, uh, of being able to pray, to be, of being able to communicate and take our needs to this living God. We, we hear, I mean, we see in the Word of God that He neither slumbers nor sleeps and His ears are always open to our cries. So we have this awesome privilege of going before Him. In fact, we are asked to pray. You know, we are exhorted to pray. Uh, Matthew 7 and verse 7 talks about uh, the Lord Jesus saying, you know, ask and it shall be given. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. So as believers, it is our privilege and it is our right and it's our duty to go before God and pray. So today we're going to look at one of the prayers that we've prayed and uh, we see this in uh, Ephesians chapter 1. So Ephesians 1 and uh, we're looking at uh, verse 15 onwards. Probably we'll look at half of that and then uh, we'll continue with that uh, later. So Ephesians 1 and verse 15. Therefore I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints, do not cease to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of His calling, what are the riches of the glory of His inheritance in the saints. Okay, so we're just going to look at a few things today. Uh, firstly, Paul starts by giving thanks for the people to whom he's praying, to, to whom he's addressing. Uh, so we can, we can do the same. Who are those people who are in the sphere or circle of your influence? And uh, as the Lord brings their names and their needs to your remembrance, uh, you can pray and give thanks to the Lord for them. First of all, to give thanks for their lives, to give thanks for the fact that, uh, you know, they might be alive and give thanks for the fact that uh, they know the Lord, if that is the case, and uh, give, generally give thanks to the Lord for their lives. And even as we do so, the, the Lord might uh, bring to remembrance or prompt certain needs that they might have, and we can pray for this as well. So in verse 17, uh, uh, Paul prays that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. So the second thing he prays is that, uh, that the Lord would give to them the spirit of revelation and knowledge in the uh, wisdom and knowledge in the uh, wisdom and revelation, sorry, in the knowledge of Him and that the eyes of their understanding would be enlightened. So this is something that we can pray. Holy Spirit, open our eyes. Holy Spirit, give us revelation, give us wisdom that we may know Jesus. Uh, information becomes revelation when the Holy Spirit stirs up and quickens this to our hearts. So let's pray and let's pray this over our lives. Father, we thank you. We pray, God, that uh, not even as you bring to remembrance, uh, the people, the sphere of influence, in our, in our sphere of influence, we, we give thanks for their lives. And uh, yes, Lord, even as you bring to remembrance their needs and names, Father God, we, we pray that, O oh God. We, we bring them before you, Master, and bring, bring their needs before you, God. And one thing we pray that you'd give us a spirit of revelation and wisdom in the knowledge of Him, in the knowledge of the Father, in the knowledge of the Son, Lord, that the Spirit of God would quicken this to us, God. Let it be no more information, but let it be a revelation and intimacy of knowing you. Yes, Lord, we commit this into your mighty hands. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 
Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.